Let me show you a web page builder that also includes hosting and best of all, it's on a lifetime deal. So you can't get a better deal than this. Let's go check it out. Build a website just like this one or better in minutes. Now this one I built it with PageMaker and I'm going to leave the link in the description just in case if you wanna test it out. Now, let's go check out the deals going on. So right now it starts off at $69 for the lifetime deal. That means you pay once and use it forever. Now check out the link in the description. Now let me show you what that actually gets you. For example, for $69, which is license tier one, you'll get all the pro plan features, unlimited traffic, so no cap on that. You get 15 active campaigns, so that's pages, five sub accounts, five team members, so they can help you out build pages, and five custom domains. So that means that you don't have to use PageMaker and use your own subdomain. You can use your own domain with subdomains. I'll show you that in a bit. If you need more limits, jump into license tier two, three, or up to five with 350 custom domains, unlimited subdomains, unlimited team members, and it just gets really crazy. You can build a bunch of pages with that. Now, how easy is it actually to build a site with PageMaker? It's super easy, right? So you have two sections here on the left, landing pages and Amazon pages. You can also grab images and descriptions from um, Amazon, which makes it really easy. Let's start off with the landing page. Let's create a new one. Let's go ahead and name this, name this test for video. We can add a description and five icon. Five icon is the one you see on the tab. I won't do it for now. Let's wait for that to load. And it's gonna load for us templates. There's a bunch of templates that you can choose from e-commerce, click through, finance, lead generation, etc. If you like something, just go ahead and choose it. For example, if it looks if you want to look at this one, click on the little i button. If not, just go ahead and select it if you like it, and it's gonna load in all that template into your site so you can just start customizing images, logos, and all that good stuff. So right now it's asking us to select colors. So primary and secondary, I'm gonna leave it as it is, but you can go ahead and tweak this out. Save and go next, it's gonna select fonts for us. So by default, this template has these fonts. If I wanna change it, I can do so. And I can use, also use visit Google fonts. So the body, save it just as it is. Again, you can customize this if you like. There we go, let's go into the site. Here we go, and here we have the pages. So there's a home, about, courses, etc. It was all created based on the template. If I want to edit the home page, I can go into open the editor, okay? And this is where the page builder comes into hand. Now you're gonna see it's super easy to modify this. Now this is a site that was grabbed from the template, and now we can customize each one of these elements. So right now we are viewing the phone mode. If I wanna view tablet mode, horizontal, desktop view, bigger desktop view and wide view, you can just go ahead and select these. Now, like I said, just go ahead and select these elements and you can start editing them. On the right, once we click on the element, we have all the settings for these. So I can change the media, I can choose the block, the size, the padding, the gradient, the margins, opacity, shadows, all of that, all right? If I wanna edit something like this, I'll just double click on it and I can go ahead and edit this. Life hack school, just like that. I was able to edit that. Now on the left, we have the blocks, okay? So for example, number one block, if I hover over these, you'll see that they are highlighting on the right, one in the middle. If I go into coins, it'll take me to the section and I can select one of these elements and start editing one of these if I like. So by clicking on these, and there's a little plus button when there's more things going on inside of there. For example, in this button, there's an icon and there's a label. So it's easy to get through. If you need to add a new module, you can go ahead and add a new module from here save modules if you have some global modules or custom code with html or css if you need to bring something it's super easy to do so they don't limit you in that case now if you want to save this click on the little save button we want to view it preview it with the changes launch it and get out of this editor so it's super easy let's go ahead and save this let's publish it there we go it's published let's go ahead and view it and this is live, okay, this side is already live. So if I wanted to use this site right now, I can do so. That's how easy it is to make a page in Page Builder and just launch it live. Now, there's a lot of more stuff going on here. Let's get, let's head on out of here of the editor. And like I said, these are the pages that this particular template has and I can edit each one of these or get rid of them if I like. Then we also have the analytics to see what's going on with these pages. There we go, and these are the analytics for it. I think it's pretty basic, but you have the overall overview, like the views, unique views, form submissions from the form that's included in the template, and the conversion rate. Now, if I wanna view the form fillouts, I can do so by selecting forms. And you'll have a list of all the people who filled out the form, and you can contact them or do whatever you need to do with it. Or you can connect it via integration and send that information to your CRM or email marketing service. 
Then, then we have uh, settings for the site name, description, and fab icon again. The colors, if we need to customize these again, the fonts, the templates, if you want to change template, if you want to add some custom CSS, you can do so, JavaScript, some plugins. So if you want to connect some plugins here like Facebook, Google Analytics, and Google Tag Manager. The domain, by default, it's using a subdomain. So if you want to change this, you can do so. But if you want to add your own custom domain, that means that it's your domain.com or your domain.io, AI, etc. You can do so by adding it in the domains and you can select it. So it's pretty cool that you have that. Sitemap also, again, if you have the sub if you have your own custom domain connected and the export setting. So that's how easy it is to create a page. Now, if you want to use the Amazon pages to create a page, you can do so by creating a new one and it's going to ask for your Amazon link to your product. Also like this one, just for testing purposes, I'll continue. And what it's going to do, it's gonna grab all the images from that campaign. So then I can later on use these and place them. I'll just say test, there we go. Here's the description, the product, the price, it's, it grabbed it from there, I'll create it. I can add coupons if I like here. Now this isn't a sales page, all right? It's only a, well, how would you say? I mean, you can't sell from here. There's no payment gateway. It's gonna take them to Amazon. And I can go ahead and select from one of the templates that they have available here. So if I like this one, I'll select it. And like I said before, it's gonna grab the images. Right now it's gonna ask us to select colors and fonts. Again, same deal. Let's go ahead and continue. Okay, let's go to the site. Here we go. Again, we have all the settings here on the left and we can change the product URL if I like. I can add more pages to this if I like, but I'll go ahead and open up the editor for this one. Remember, we loaded up, we loaded up a template here and I can just go ahead and replace the images by selecting them. So if I wanna replace these images, we have them already available here because it grabbed it. Just click on these, start replacing, etc. Here we go. This main image is gonna change once you preview the site because it's gonna grab it from these four images. Again, you can go ahead and go through all of this and just edit it what you need and edit more images, etc. It's super easy to do so. There we go, it's replaced. If I go ahead and preview this page, here we go. Now we have the images available here. So like these, and that was super fast, right? So that's how easy to use to, to easy it. You can load in the images super fast. So that's how easy it is to use with Amazon products. So again, let's head on out of here, let's exit. And you can add your own domains here by obviously connecting them via DNS. The integrations that they have available, this is as of now. Now that is the lifetime deal that's going on right now. I mean, if you wanna have something easy to use, launch a web page and not worry about hosting and maintenance, well, this is a good deal. So go ahead and check it out. And that's a wrap.